It's said a bucket list is composed of things to do before you die. We say life is more than a to-do list. It's a journey to live for. This series celebrates the true meaning of travel, its beauty, and its potential to bring us together as a human race. This is The Bucket Life. Grounded in centuries of progress, London is the location from which so much propels. Newton's Laws, a motherland of modern-day sports, even the World Wide Web. So much has been discovered and created, and yet mysteries here still exist. An eye to the past and an eye to the future, London's landscape has captured the progress of millennia past and present. Uh, London is a, a very cosmopolitan city, offers uh, um, everything that you possibly need and it gets all the communities together and that is a great sense of um, achievement. But also as a city we have the best restaurants, the best attractions, the museums, the history. It's a very unique, of course, the royal family, which makes it very special. Known as the Old Smoke, London has long benefited from a wealth of intellectual progress, an opportunity to absorb all that is within this continually updated time capsule. The Shard stands 1,000 feet tall, nearly three quarters of a mile, and was conceived as a vertical city. The view from the Shard, which is the third ledger, or hospitality part of the building, is more than 800 feet above London and offers unparalleled views and the only opportunity to see the whole of London in one place at one time. Stonehenge is, without a moment's hesitation, the most famous prehistoric site in the world. The earliest written record we have of Stonehenge was by the famous Roman historian Tacitus, who in the first century AD referred to Stonehenge as a temple to the sun. But we now know for sure that at approximately 3100 BC, there was a circular raised earthen embankment. You can just see it around the stones, outside of which was a deep ditch. And this is what is known as the Henge. The first stones started to appear approximately 300 years later, called blue stones. Each blue stone weighs up to around about four tons, and each blue stone comes from the Procelli Hills in Wales, over 150 miles away. The larger stones, the Sarsons, weigh up to 20 tonne and they come from an area known as the Marlborough Downs. Which then begs the question, how did they get them here? Well, it remains a matter of speculation. There are various arguments. Some people believe that the smaller stones were brought by boat from the coast up the River Avon and then manually dragged. And it's been proven that the larger stones could have been physically dragged from the Marlborough Hills over 20 miles away using a system of ropes, grease wind rollers and sledges. And it would have taken about nine months to drag a single stone the distance. Bath, England, is a unique blend of the architecture and geophysics gleaned from the Roman and Georgian eras. Perched atop the slopes of the River Avon, the city of Bath was the first in England designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. From the 15th century Bath Abbey, where Britain's first king was crowned in 973 AD, to the stunning Georgian architecture and the romantic Pulteney Bridge to the Roman baths, harnessed from natural hot springs. Bath is worth the short trip north of London's city center. The famous namesake Roman baths are encompassed in a beautifully preserved bathing complex still flowing with water from Britain's only hot spring. The torch lighting ceremony at dusk lights winter skies, while baths healing waters sipped in the neoclassical pump room calm the soul. A family tradition and meeting spot dating back to the Norman times, Windsor Castle remains the Queen's favorite weekend residence. From the lavish state apartments with priceless art by Rembrandt and da Vinci, to the monarchs and memories resting in St. George's Chapel, the royal family has found comfort and formed history in this lush wooded estate.
Warwick Castle is another northern favorite and a stone's throw to Shakespeare's birthplace, Cotswold. London's pulse and pull satisfy in every regard, providing a historically curated tour through the ages. From great academics to great authors to great artists, royal families and royal views, London and its many regional offerings make a visit here a must. This is The Bucket Life.